Hi, my name is Mitch Flamin. I'm the division manager for Flamin Grain Systems at Flamin Sales. Uh, today we're here just south of Bethune at uh, Roy and Lori Zinn's farm. We're about to start up a new cleaner that they bought. This cleaner is a bench portable air screen unit. As you can see, there's an air screen cleaner mounted on a trailer that's ready to go in cleaning. The nice thing about a unit like this is it comes complete, ready to go. It has an electrical panel already wired on it. It has a cyclone system, screening auger. It's as simple as putting grain into it and lining your augers up to take the grain away. Uh, different features that this cleaner has, it has leveling jacks on all four corners so that the cleaner can be level while we're cleaning. It's ideal to have a level cleaner so that the grain flows consistently. Um, one of the really nice things about this cleaner is the electrical panel. So it's wired to have your different incoming auger as well as your discharge auger hooked up to VFD so we can control the speed of it. So there's just one point of power connection. Uh, right now the boys are just getting the screens ready here before we start cleaning. Today we're going to be cleaning organic oats. So we're just putting the ball racks in right now. Uh, another thing you can see on this cleaner, there's a cyclone on there. And what that does is it helps collect all of the air and dust that comes off of the unit to keep it contained so we're not blowing a mess around the yard. The, all the solids that come out of the air that we suck off with the aspiration on the cleaner are going to go through that cyclone and end up in that screening auger. Um, there's a closed circuit air system on this cleaner. So that allows us to suck different defects and screenings off of the grain instead of just blowing it and making a mess. So there's two different baffles on the cleaner that we can adjust uh, to really get specific on what we want to be taking out of the grain. In that hopper, there's hopper sensors that when we hook the incoming grain auger to the panel, those hopper sensors will allow when the hopper gets full to shut that auger off and turn it back on when the hopper gets empty and we need to call for more grain. There's also a VFD on there that we can use to speed up and slow down the incoming flow of the grain. So we're about to get going here. We fired the cleaner up. There's no grain going through it yet. But as you can see, there's an auger that's going to feed into that main hopper there. That auger is hooked up to a auger switch sensor that'll kick that auger in and out. From there, the grain's going to go down. It's, there's a feed gate adjustment that'll adjust the flow of the grain. And as it goes down the shaking shoe, there's a scalp deck, a grade deck, and a sift deck. All of the screenings are going to come down off the two ports on the side and we're going to go out this screenings auger here. The clean grain is going to come out the back into this blue auger and then where that cyclone is that's also going to pull off all of the light impurities that we pull out with the aspirator and put that into the screenings auger as well. So this is what we had for incoming oats. As you can see, there's lots of just dirt and small stuff in there. Uh, it doesn't look that bad, but this is about 20 to 30% dockage. This is some of the screenings that we were taking off. That's screenings that was coming off with the air. This was screenings that was coming off the top scalping deck. So this would be all the big stuff. And then this is what we got for clean product. You can see there's the odd little thing in there right now, but given how high percentage of the dockage was going in, it's about as good as you're gonna get the first pass. If you ran this through again, it would be just about perfect. So when we start talking about on-farm grain cleaning and cleaning your own grain, we start to look at the benefits of why we want to have a grain cleaner and what are the benefits of having our own cleaners. So, there's obvious benefits to having clean grain. There's different dockage costs. There's different transportation costs. One of the benefits of having your own cleaner, you can clean it on your own schedule. Um, whenever it's convenient for you to go out and clean it, you're not waiting on someone else's schedule or someone else's lineup. And there's always delays that happen that are out of people's control, which really allows you to be more in control of when you get to clean your own grain. Another benefit of having your own grain cleaner is the freight and cost savings aspect. So we're not, as you can see here, we're set up on site at farm. 
There's no freight occurred in here. There's no additional shipping costs. It's all going from bin to bin. So there's less handling of the grain, less damage of the grain. And another big benefit of cleaning your own grain is contamination. So we reduce, mitigate and eliminate the chances of other people's grain ending up in your grain because it's your bins. You're in control of where the grain's coming from and where the grain's going to. And we're not cross-contaminating or mixing it with other grains.